Okay, so we're back. We just did the 70s look with the baby doll look, the little bit more kind of um, innocent looking 70s. And now I want to move into the later part of the 70s, um, which was really the disco era. It was kind of towards, I'd say probably 78, 79, um, late 70s, early 80s. And I want to do kind of a uh, Studio 54 look. So if you knew who some of the celebrities were back then, uh, Jerry Hall, Liza Minnelli, um, there were a lot of really, really uh, famous people going out at night and everyone wore this makeup look and it was really, really fun. So I used this green here. This was my main color. It's like an emerald green. And I like to take kind of a big fluff brush and this is gonna be my main color. So let's take a little bit onto our brush and then go ahead and work it in here. All right, close your eyes. What I wanna do is I lift the eyebrow from the inner corner and I'm gonna deposit most of my color into this inner area along the bridge of the nose hitting to the eyebrow. Now listen, nine out of 10 times, I would say don't ever do this for makeup because if you're working with the client, like someone that's going to an event or that's not in a high fashion setting, this looks really, really silly and it often looks very, very amateur. I find when my uh, students and stuff are learning smoky eyes, they end up taking the smoky all the way up here in the inner corner and you really don't want it there. So this is something that's really pretty specifically uh, works best with a more editorial look. So let's come in, put a little bit more on there and then just kind of start swooping it out. I'm not gonna put it onto the lid yet. I'm just gonna kind of swoop it out into the crease and the outer part of the eye as well was huge in the 70s. We had a lot of darkness in the inner corner and then we had that really kind of really thick kind of sweep of color on the outer part that actually, you, as you see when we get the rest of the face done, kind of blends into the rest of the makeup. So let's just leave that as our base. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of a black. You really want a pigmented black. If it doesn't have enough pigment in it, it's not going to uh, do the trick. And I'm gonna come right into here, into the crease line here, and try to create a little bit of a contour there. This is what's gonna give some dimension to the eye when we put everything together. And I'm not using eyelashes in this. You know, in the 70s, they really didn't wear a lot of eyelashes. Um, and brows weren't shaped a lot. It was kind of a really natural looking brow, but there was a lot of eye makeup going on. Um, but everything else, as far as the eyes, was kept pretty natural. It was, again, the uh, lots of eyeshadow and lots of mascara. All right, so there we go. I think that's kind of our base. Now let's start adding our finishing colors. Now we can't forget our highlight. We have to add lots and lots and lots of highlight and shimmer there because this is what's gonna kind of blend all three of those colors together. And normally when I'm doing makeup uh, for people today that are wearing a, a look that would be, you know, worn today, I don't use this much highlighter, but it's a must in the 70s. And I also bring it down to kind of blend in with the black and just slightly blend in with that green as well. All right, so let's take these beautiful wine colors, this purple and this wine, and with the small, just kind of a small fluff brush, we'll come in and take it, and I'm gonna sweep it on, look up, underneath her eyes to so look all the way up. And listen, I still have the remnants of the blue eyeshadow on from our last one. I find um, with a lot of people, a lot of students and stuff when they're working on different looks, and this happens a lot when you're used, doing editorial photo shoots, uh, you switch the makeup up. We don't have time on set to be uh, completely taking the makeup off of the model for each, uh, for each shot. So usually what you're doing is kind of planning your shot where you, you use the more natural makeup first and then you add on to it. I mean, if we did that every time, the model would be exhausted, their face would be raw. I mean, we wouldn't be able to get more than one or two shots done. So you really have to know how to work with uh, changing looks up uh, without kind of you know going through and taking everything off. So that's why I'm just adding a, right on top of this. We're adding colors that are dark and vibrant and stuff so the blue is just gonna disappear. Open your eyes up. All right, that looks pretty good. So let's come in with the big fluff brush like this and just start blending out 
some of these edges. Now don't forget when we blend out, it's a swoop all the way. You can bring, even bring this color till it meets the temple. So just turn your head a little bit. It really can be that kind of a look. It's almost like a space age kind of a look when you think of someone like Ziggy uh, Stardust or David Bowie, he did that a lot and that was the 70s. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to, let's do it on the other side so they match. And then we'll come in, open, there you go. Just look right into the camera. That looks perfect. Uh, we're gonna come in and we're gonna do the blush. Before I do that, I do just wanna clean up a little bit under the eyes, so look up for me. You know, it's really up to you as an artist if you want to uh, do the foundation first or you want to do the eyes first. I tend to do the foundation first only because that's the way I've worked for so, so long, but I'm trying to get into the habit when I'm doing a really you know, colorful, smoky eye like this to actually do the eye first and then go ahead and put the foundation on. But if you do, if it's say something you're switching up a look, just put a nice really thick veil of powder under there and then sweep it off and that'll catch any fallout that you have. All right, this looks really, really pretty. All right, now blush. Blush, it was huge in the 70s and the 80s and everything was this kind of orangey, corally color. Uh, and it wasn't blended at all. When you look at the pictures, it was just kind of a really harsh line going up the uh, cheeks and there was a highlighter, there was an orange color and then a lot of the times there was a darker brown kind of contour color under that. We're just gonna do the one color and this is NARS. Uh, Taj Mahal, it's an amazing color and it's perfect for the look that I'm doing right now. Sweep it up, starting either at the temple or down here. I usually prefer to start at the temple where you get the most amount of makeup. And remember, this should be like a streaky line. It really doesn't need to be uh, conservative looking at all. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more and just turn your head that way and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit the temple. So it's almost gonna be like a V shaped here. Now, take a little bit of powder on my brush, blend all that out. You see the other side? Let's do a little more on the other side. And now we want to highlight. Remember I said there's a lot of shimmer going on in the face in the 70s. Forget about being matte or, you know, or powder, having a lot of powder on. Everything was about shimmer. So let's take a smaller brush, maybe something like this here. And I'm going to take my shimmer and I'm going to go right on top of that blush that we just did. And I'm going to add a really beautiful highlight under the eye. I would never suggest you do this now to clients because you would, it would end up looking like they're very greasy and it does not photograph well when you have shimmer too close to the T-zone. But uh, for this kind of a look, we absolutely can go ahead and brush it under the eye and almost to the, the tip of the nose or to the side of the nose, sorry. And then we're gonna take it all and we're gonna blend it out. All right. Uh, this is the look so far. This is exactly what people used to look like. It looks maybe a little silly now, but once you were out at night and uh, you know you were uh, in, the, in the club or in the disco, it looked really beautiful with the clothes and the hair that people wore back then. Uh, the other thing was uh, the, the 70s, the late 70s, there was no minimalism. It was all about color. It was about eyes, lips, and cheeks. Now we always think about, you know, you have to pick one or the other. Uh, for them, they kind of just did it all, and it really set the stage for what was going on in the 80s when Madonna came on the scene with that stripey kind of crazy color where we had a little bit different colors in the 80s, but this was the, this was the start of that makeup look. Now I want to come in and let's do the lips. Uh, I'm going to use these kind of orangey, reddish kind of colors here. This is a MAC uh, pencil, and it's called Ginger. Ginger is actually the, the perfect color for what we need to do. And um, if we can zoom in here and stretch your lips out, and I'm going to just apply it onto the whole, the whole lip. This way, good. And now I'm gonna take these uh, two colors and I'm gonna mix them up. This one's almost an orangey red and this one's a little bit more of a uh, coral red looking color 
and stretch your lips out. Now remember, when I'm doing lips, I always kind of rest my hand against the person's chin with the powder puff in between. It's a nice way not to get your greasy hand uh, all over their face. When we're working, I mean, we end up looking like a mess because we've got makeup and, you know, the makeup artists and the hair people and the people behind the scenes are the ones that actually work the hardest to make the model look good. So, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we don't have our hands, which as you can see in the video I did before, where you end up getting makeup all over them. So this is kind of a nice little way to, uh, to do that and keep it clean. There you go. Smack your lips together a little bit. All right, so that's the color that we want to do. And now there's one more thing I want to put on her lips, and that is some lip gloss. The perfect thing, I don't have my lip gloss with me, but I do have this really glossy color right here. It was all about the lip gloss. So we'll go ahead and stretch your lips out, put it right in the center of the mouth. I, I don't like to put lip gloss all the way into the outer corner of the mouth. It starts to look really messy. So this is the look. This is the look of the late 70s, uh, the way people would go out and wear their makeup. And what we're gonna do is come in and I'm gonna show you something a little bit different with the hair uh, that's a really easy transition from what we did before and also keeps the true kind of spirit of the, the time back then and the look that people were wearing.